are crossing the border of US and Canada in like 10 minutes with our dog and our camper van. We shouldn't have any issues, but we're also not entirely positive. We are Nick and Sam Simpson, and we've been traveling the world since the beginning of 2023, bringing you along with us. We are just starting our camper van trip all around Canada, and today we have to conquer our first big hurdle, crossing the border from the US to Canada with our camper van and our dog, Goose. You would think it would be simple, but there is a lot of preparation for bringing your dog abroad and a van across the border. But wait till the end of this video to to find out what exactly you need when you cross the border from the United States to Canada. Whether you have a RV camper van and or a dog or you're just traveling alone, we'll give you all the information. <sighs> oh, I hope it goes well. Good morning and welcome to our series while we camper van through Canada. And we are so excited because we are making our way from Sacramento, California, all the way to Vancouver, Canada. Okay, well, we made a couple stops along the way. We stopped in Mount Shasta and in Portland, Oregon, but today we are leaving from Portland, Oregon, and we're heading up to take our dog and us internationally to Canada. We have like a six hour drive today from Portland to Canada, probably more because this lady back here, Dolly, our camper van can only really go 60 miles per hour. You ready to go? Let's go. Woo! Are you gonna become Canada Goose Goose? Gas here in the US is five USD per gallon. And that's like almost every day we have to fill up. Nick has wanted to go do this Canada road trip for as long as we've been together, which is 10 years. So he is like a little kid in a candy shop. But we do have about two hours left of this drive and hopefully things go well at the border. Are you excited? Of course you excited. Are you guys excited? Okay, we just pulled off to the side of a rest stop right by the border of US and Canada. And we pulled off here because we need to make sure that we had all of our documentations with us and ready to go. Nick read that we needed our passports, the rabies documentation saying that Goose has had his rabies shots this year, and we need our RV or camper van documents. So we have all of that information ready to go. Now let's see if we can cross the border. So close, do you have your rabies shots documentation? Oh. That's a boy. That's a good, oh, boy. good boy. Look at this boy. Big baby. Sitting on mommy's lap. We are about 10 minutes away from the US Canada border in Blaine is the town that we're going to. Blaine is on I-5, which is one of the main freeways that goes like all the way up the western part of the United States to Canada. This is like the nicest border crossing I've ever seen. Like fully landscaped, like nice flowers everywhere. Like I think we're going in the right direction. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. Have a good Have one. Good. Officially an international dog. I don't know if you could hear it, but he just asked us, asked us like how we got up here, where we were going in here. He didn't ask for Goose's rabies documents, nothing. That was much, much easier and it took like 10 minutes maximum. Like that was so lovely and we're here and I'm so excited. And we have made it to our campsite. The last few minutes were a little stressful. I took the wrong turn, but nonetheless, we are here. So technically we're in Vancouver, but it's like right outside of the downtown area, which is where we're gonna be going tomorrow. And you better stick around because I have found one of the coolest slash weirdest foods I think I've ever seen. And apparently it's the number one food in Vancouver. But we have to set camp up. We gotta plug in, level this sucker out. camp is all set up we are ready to go we are here for two nights if you are coming here as a foreigner at all of course you need your passport if you're coming here in a car you need your passport you need your registration card like your car registration and lastly if you're coming here as a foreigner in a car with an animal specifically a dog like we did I did go to the vet beforehand I got all of that I got his vaccine printout had the vet sign it it was a whole thing and so I was prepared for a lot. He's actually a service dog as well, so I brought the ID to show him if he wanted that for any reason. So I came fully prepared. He didn't ask for any of it. But if you come here, I would absolutely expect that they're gonna ask for that. Maybe he was just trying to get people through. I don't really know. But we are gonna close this video out for today. And until next time, we'll see you on the go. Good morning and welcome to day one. Now it's like day two. Good morning and welcome to our Canada series. Good morning and welcome to our Camper Van Canada series now. Oh, oh, we're in the, we're in the tunnel, hold on. So if you can't tell, oh yeah, I'm gonna just test one, two, test one, two, test one, two. We have all three things with us, but we did. Okay, Nick. Oh, oh look at the sign. No, I don't have that on video. What do we do? Um, but he just asked us if we like what. He just... Plus, you need his rabies vaccine. Plus, you need your dog... Goose! Goose! He's eating a stick right now. Goose, drop it. Thank you. Leave it. Thank you. Eat your food, buddy. This guy's crazy. He gets all the best food in the world, and he wants to eat sticks. Mm -hmm.